Now listen and circle the correct answer. Good morning to residents of Kampong Mawar. Today we have a special guest with us. He is Mr. Chong, a successful constructor who has been involved in building construction business for more than 10 years. Since he is familiar with the ins and outs of the construction business, he is going to talk about a few things related to building houses. Please welcome Mr. Chong. Thank you very much for having me today. I'm not here to promote my construction business, but to convey new knowledge to all of you today. I hope it'll be beneficial to some of you in building your future house. As I said earlier, I have more than 10 years of experience in building construction business. And in this talk, you are welcome to ask any questions regarding this topic. So, let's hear it from you. Thank you, Mr. Chong. Now, if you have any question you would like to ask Mr. Chong, please raise up your hand and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Ayman. Mr. Chung, could you please tell us what is the first thing that we must do before constructing a house? The first step that you should do is to plan the design of your home. You cannot simply start with the construction without having a house plan. There are many useful websites for planning out the design of your home like the tools on Floor Planner and Room Sketcher. These websites do not solely provide a house plan for you, but they most significantly allow you to create mock floor plans instead. On top of that, you can share your floor plans online and receive feedback from others. Are those tools offered by the website free? Yes, they are. You don't have to pay at all. Mr. Chong, Sandy here. We always hear people saying that having a fixed budget is important too. What do you think? Well, Sandy, that is a good question. Actually, there is always a chance that your house builder wouldn't tell you the items that aren't included in the budget. You'll be told more or less of your initial budget. For instance, the cost for electricity and water supply meters or fences and gates sometimes are not included. To avoid any financial crisis, I would strongly suggest to anyone who wants to build a house to expect the cost would be 15 to 25 percent more expensive than your first budget. Talking about a house builder, why it is important for anyone to hire a trusted house builder? Would you give us some tips on how to choose a good one? Yes, it might be one of the most important decisions that you need to make in the home building process. Remember, you're going to work with the builder for many months. I am sure you wouldn't want to face any problems along the building process. Here are some tips for you. First, always look for a house builder who has legit license endorsed by the government. Secondly, you can try and go check the builder's previous work so that you could judge his workmanship. To me, this one is the most important part of choosing a house builder. Last but not least, the price offered by the builders. Hi, Mr. Chung. My name is Lee and I have a question for you. I was told by my friend that a construction home loan is different from buying a house from a housing developer. Is it true? Yes, you're right, Mr. Lee. A construction home loan is different because the funds for your housing construction process will be given in stages. You primarily need to wait for the approval of your application. The bank will only give the money after the completion of each stage of your housing construction. Well, everyone, I guess that's all the time we have for today. Many thanks for the tips given today, Mr. Chong. You're most welcome. <laughs>